going to clean the stove top of our kitchen queen uh, wood cook stove for the very first time. I've never done this before. So I'm kind of relying on my memory on when I used to work in the food service in college. And I used to clean uh, the grill of the coffee shop that would be open late at night. So around 11, 12 o'clock at night, I'd be cleaning the steel grill. Well, this is very similar. So I'm gonna use some of the same tools. I bought this tool, uh, which is just a, a nice, good scratch pad and a handle with it. This isn't a commercial type one. It's more of a home-based one, but it'll work for what I'm gonna do, hopefully today. This would be a scratch pad for grills. Okay, so this is actually a grill pad or a grill um, grate. Uh, and then what you do is you put it on your scratch pad like this. Okay, and then you're going to put pressure on it and you're gonna use this to scrub. You also need water. That's why I created this gutter system in the first place. Water is gonna roll off in every direction on this thing and it would just go right to the floor. Uh, there is no way that I would want to line the entire floor with towels, but that is another option. You could do that. You can roll up uh, towels or newspaper around the floor and do it that way. I decided to create this gutter system just to see if it would work. Yeah, maybe it's a little over the top. Uh, the stove is at around 218 degrees. That's where I'm focusing on, um, or 220. I do not want to go much hotter than that. So I just gave it a little bit of warmth, shut it completely down. I got all the, uh, the drafts shut and closed, except for the oven. And so I got my water on, and I'm going to just pour the water on top of the stove, and then I'm going to start scrubbing. I got gloves on just for the steam and I also got a long sleeve shirt on because of the steam. how much abuse you've done to your stove top is how clean it's going to get. I mean, it's not going to be brand new. It's not a new stove. So it's not going to be factory new ever. Um, but it will clean up pretty good. And it's something that you can look at and be proud of. But it's not going to be perfect. It's going to have its characters that you created in it over the use. Mark, where can you get the this pad like right here? Where do you get that? Uh, restaurant supply stores. Okay. That's where you got the handled. Uh... Yeah. It was a, a local store. Yeah. So kind of in our, in your local, uh, where they have all your dish, like your dish, uh, your sponges for your kitchen and all that, correct? Right. Okay. Can I just say that is looking awesome. Wow, I am not going to know what to do with this. How's your gutter system working? You know, it's not as much off of it as pop. I mean, it's really not that much spill. Mm -mm. So maybe it's just overkill, I don't know. Is it catching the water, though, that's coming off? It is catching the water. Sure looks like it. You know what that's from? That's probably oxidization, ox, oxidation from the dripping vent. Mm -hmm. So I got an old t-shirt. 
setting on there and just using this to kind of dry it up and also polish it up a little bit. Let's see where I'm at. And this is looking really clean. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something I could be mm -hmm. pretty proud of. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put more water on it and I'm going to scrub with this pumice brick. And this is kind of like your standard commercial um, grade uh, grill cleaner. And it just scrubs and it gets into it real fine. And it breaks apart and then I'm going to use this to dust again. So let me get some more water on here. The, the water has cooled the top um, a lot. And so what I'm going to do now is rev the stove up just a little bit until I get to about 200 and then shut it back down again. You just want it to where the water steams. So it's kind of like steam cleaning the top as you're scrubbing, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I also got my water back on here to heat with it. So we're just gonna get that up to temperature and then I'm gonna use the brick. I got the stove back up to about 200 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and use the lava brick and just see if I can clean up the top a little bit more. So I pour a little bit of water on. Okay, so now I'm going back to this. What I made sure is I did not use this against the backsplash because I did not want to strip the paint off of the backsplash. Mm. So I stayed away and kept my fingers as a wall barrier for that. You're muscling that pretty hard, aren't you? Yep. You say, babe, don't be shy when you're scrubbing it? I would say don't be shy. Okay. Give it your muscle. Give it your might. It's not going to hurt the top. Okay. I'm just taking my old t-shirt. What does this do? This is just buffing it out. Mm -hmm. Getting all the the pumice or the lava lava rock off. You know that pumice that I use the pumice brick. Look at that. That's looking beautiful. And I have a few areas like right here. Mm -hmm. That might be from where water's been dripping on it and pitting it out. Mm. So what you just need to do is, I, it's never going to come out. It's now part of the character, character. of the stove. Um, but what I can do is just kind of work on it a little bit more. Work on it a little bit here and then buff that out. And, and it then, seems the hotter part of the stove. Yeah, the hotter part is over here. Uh-huh. Has a little bit um, more wear because obviously we cook more over there, huh? Mm-hmm. So I'm changing out to a commercial. The other one was not. Um, this is a scotch. Comes in a large size like that, so I just cut a, cut a piece off. On here, and then putting the screen on top of that. This should hold the heat a little bit better, I would mm. hope. I'm gonna scrub this right here. Okay, so that's a lot of work to get that clean. I mean, that's a, mm -hmm. it's a hot stove, 200 degrees, steams the water. Water kind of steams off a lot of the crud that was on there. Not perfect, by any stretch, but it's pretty good. So I got a lot of that stuff off. That's from buffing it. Mm. So that's, you know, getting the grime and stuff off the stove top. I to use a lot of information that I had from cleaning a kitchen grill from a restaurant and apply it to this. I think it worked out okay. I think it did pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna get this to look brand new. 
It's got a lot of character on it. It's got a lot of use out of it for probably the last um, six years that we've been using it. And I did a video uh, where I flashed back to when we first lighted and you can see what it looked like brand new sitting in the house. This is the first time I've cleaned the top. Six years. Um, I think that's pretty good. You guys may have better luck than me. Uh, the gutter system, let's talk about it real quick. The gutter system did not work as good as I hoped it would, but if you look here, if you can kind of pan through, you can see all the crud that made it in here, okay? And all that would have been mm. down the side of the wood cook stove mm -hmm. or on the floor or both. And what you have is it did catch it. Mm. Um, the problem is, is the joints and it's the low end joint here. And the reason that it's had to be so low is because of the oven draft to heat up the oven. It's so low that I had to position this lower. So it's all going to run this way. Well, once this area here filled up, it back flowed up in here and made a way to drip out the bottom. So what I need to do is seal this right here. I need to actually somehow seal it. So it will not do that. Maybe, um, Maybe I need to use some type of epoxy or silicone, something mm -hmm. to put a bead there, and that would keep it, mm -hmm. dam it up so it would keep the water rushing this way and down. So, um, other than that, the gutter system did not leak that much water. There, it really isn't that much in there. Um, it's something that you probably could do if you're not afraid of your floors. Um, it also then, saved, I think, all that junk going down the front of your stove, to yeah. be honest. Kind of buff it up, polish it up, be proud of your, your workhorse for your home. And there you go. There's a, a cleaner, kitchen clean wood cook stove. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gutter system off, put it in to our old cabin, and then I'll pull it out for next time. So it'll always be ready. The irony is I built the gutter system and then I spilt a whole jar of olive oil and smashed it in front of the stove. To prevent a mess, I created another mess. Life's ironies, what do you say? You guys take care, see you on the next video.